let's talk about coding and critical thinking. Now, a lot of people say that coding helps you with critical thinking, that it can help you think a certain way, expand your worldview. How does this come about? So, before we take a look at how coding helps with critical thinking, let us take a look at critical thinking itself. Right? Critical thinking is the objective analysis of the facts as they are presented to you. Now, it also means being receptive to newer information and correcting yourself as and when you get that information. And this sort of leads into a problem solving approach and also improves on the creativity. And where do you employ this critical thinking? Where do you use it? So, critical thinking is used everywhere in your life. It could be your professional career, it could be your student life, right, academic life. And you could also have it something like a very simple example, a problem that someone, a lot of people deal with on a day to day basis is, which should be your next phone, right. So, it depends really on your needs and you could assess it on the grounds of the facts that are available to you. So, for example, someone who is a businessman on the go might need a phone that has a larger battery. So, someone who is interested in taking pictures might prefer to use an iPhone because it has a good camera. A musician might try to use an iPhone because it has a good microphone, while someone like a gamer might choose to have something that is loaded with a good GPU, a lot of RAM and a good battery backup. So, in the same way, we assess each decision that we make and this sometimes might happen unconsciously or sometimes we have to consciously look at the information that is at hand and make that decision. And where does coding fit into the scheme of things? How does that help one with critical thinking? So, coders need to actually break problems down. So, they are given a task uh, and often it is not possible to visualize the entire solution at the outset. So, you have to tackle it at break it into pieces and tackle them one at a time and then also reiterate this process over and over to get to the right solution. So, practice is a key feature both I mean with coding and with critical thinking to keep going at it, right? Oh yes, it is an iterative process where you look at the information that you have and then you try to make the best rational decisions you can. And at the same time, you correct yourself when you get new information and again you practice this method over and over. But often there is no one right solution, right? There is no one correct answer. How do you arrive at that one answer then? And it boils down to what your inclinations are and what the situation is, right? You might depends on what you are working on. So, you might be working on a project for an app or a website and depending on who the target audience is, you might have to choose a certain type of color, a certain, certain type of feel and the way you present it depends on really on the context of the situation. And what about when things do not go your way? Well, as often happens in life, things do not go your way, but you got to get back up again and improve on your method, because with each failed attempt you have more information and more experience. So, does that mean that non coders cannot think critically because coding helps you with critical thinking? Well, it would be a stretch to say that non coders cannot think critically, but it is just that coders is part of their discipline. So, day in and day out they are working on problems, breaking problems down, arriving at solutions. So, they have a method that they are practicing on a day to day basis and perfecting, perfecting it each time and then in their mind there is always a solution. So, when you think that there is going to be a solution, your tendency is to keep trying until you get there. That is that's great. So, thank you. Thank you for your time, Sajin.